Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. You are here, you probably looking to install the Feather app on your iPhone or iPad. In this video, I am going to show you the easiest, safest and working method to install the Feather app on your iOS devices. This method works in iOS 16, iOS 17 and iOS 18 to iOS 18.5. Make sure to watch till the end, let's start the video. First, visit the eSign official website, link provided in the description. Now scroll down, and tap on the new eSign certificate, and it will bring you to this page. Once you reach here, tap on download, then hit config profiles, now tap on any profile and download it, I am using first, MAD NS profile. Now, open settings, tap on profile downloaded, and install the DNS profile on your iOS device. Once you install the DNS profile, visit the same website again. Now tap on back, then hit portal and tap on any portal link and install it on your device. If one portal link is not working, try other one. Here you can see, Portal app has been installed on my device. If untrusted developer message will pop up, while opening the Portal app. Open settings, go to general, then go to VPN and device management, now go to enterprise app, then hit trust and tap allow and restart. After restart, you are able to open the Portal app. Open the Portal app, then go to downloads and here you will find the Feather app. Tap on Feather, then tap any of the link and install it. If one Feather link is not working for you, try other one. Once Feather app is installed on your device, then we have to download an import certificate for the Feather. Visit the eSign website, scroll down tap on the last, eSign certificate Rice Hub, and download it. Once you download the certificate zip file, open files app then locate the certificate. Now tap on the certificate zip file and it will extract. We need for these files. Now open Feather app, Go to settings, scroll down tap on add certificate, then hit plus icon. Now tap on here, then locate and open the certificate extracted folder. After that, open any certificate folder, and add mobile provision file, p12 file, and enter password, you will find password in the certificate folder. Once you add all the files, simply hit save. And that's it guys. You have successfully installed the Feather app on your iOS device. Now you can sideload any IPA file on your iPhone or iPad using the Feather app. If this tutorial helped you out, please like the video, subscribe our channel, and hit bell icon for more tech tricks.